Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make terrazzo chips from acrylic resin. So let's go over the supplies you're going to need to do this. You'll need something to protect your surface with. I'm using wax paper. You can use newspaper if you want. A card or something to spread your jasmineite around with. Disposable plastic cups, some popsicle sticks, paper towels to wipe off your card if you're doing different colors, a scale to measure out your acrylic resin pigments some acetate sheets or you can use a garbage bag and then obviously you're going to need some acrylic resin so i have just bought some acrylic resin from sir resin and malts by sarah c design i will link her shop in the description if you're in south africa go check her shop out she has some really awesome products okay so i'm going to begin by measuring out my acrylic resin mine is a one to two ratio meaning i'll need one part acrylic resin and two parts powder it's important Important to know the ratio of your resin so just make sure to get those details from your supplier this resin also cures in 45 minutes some acrylic resins only take 30 minutes to cure so there's not a huge window of work time so we have to work really quickly you will need to tear or zero your scale back down to zero when adding the two parts so that you're getting accurate measurements after pouring the acrylic resin i'll go in and zero out my scale and the only and then only will i add the powder if you're a gram of over or under it's not a huge deal but try to be as accurate as possible to avoid wasting product or having your acrylic resin not cure correctly you'll also see that i add a little powder at a time and stir in between that's because i'm trying to avoid making lumps in my mixture we'll need to give this a good mix i think i mix this for about two minutes you can also get a special tool to mix jasmineite can't remember what it's called, um, but uh, that will also be great to avoid lumps. Once that's thoroughly mixed, I'm going to split this mixture into four different cups. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make different colored chips. So I'm trying to go for a light academia. Shout out to Royal Resin. She uh, suggested this idea in my last video. So thank you so much. Um, in the end, I really loved how it turned out. So let's talk about pigments quickly. Jasmineite pigments are very strong and it only takes a very little to get a saturated color. If you want your color lighter, you'll need to add less pigment and vice versa. So you'll see I add uh, very little to the acrylic resin and you'll see how quickly that color saturates the resin. So a little really does go a long way. Okay, so I'm done mixing my colors. I didn't really like the pink. I felt it didn't go with the color scheme, but at least I have pink Toretto chips now. And I also mixed more acrylic resin off camera and I didn't add any pigment to that. So now we're ready to start making the Toretto. So I'm going to lay down my acetate sheets or you can use a garbage, a garbage bag. 
And I'm going to pour my resin on the acetate and then we're going to spread this around as thin as we possibly can. Ideally, you want to resin chips to be less than a millimeter thick. So don't be afraid to spread the resin really thin. Obviously, you don't want to make it extremely thin. Otherwise, it'll literally turn to dust. So over here, I just did an example of what you want to avoid. So you don't want to do this. This is way too thin and it is just going to turn to dust. Um, so you do want to make it just a little bit thicker than that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spread all my other colors onto my acetate sheets. And then I'm going to let this fully cure for 45 minutes. Okay, so here comes the fun part uh, we get to break this up but before we do that I wanted to quickly show you the thickness on the acetate sheet itself before I break it up and you can see I spread it really really thin so in a second I will show you pieces that I've made before uh, when I was quite new to acrylic resin um, and this is definitely not the thickness that you want so in my little jar yeah i have some chips that i made a while back and this is way too thick so the problem with having it this thick is that when you put it in a coaster or a trinket tray you will have pieces that might bulge out and um, they'll bulge out at the bottom of your coaster or whatever it is that you're making so ideally you do want to make these really thin so we're going to go ahead and break this up this is the really fun part i enjoy this part out of the whole process um, so we're just going to go ahead and break everything and then that is pretty much how you make Tourette's or chips it's it's pretty easy um not too complicated <laughs> So over here, I'm just going to show you the thickness that you want it to be. So this is the correct thickness. Um, I feel like I did this correctly for the first time. Um, I honestly did struggle a bit in the beginning to get the thickness right. But this is how you want it to look. And it shouldn't create too much problems if you're going to make small things like coasters and things like that and we're done that is it thank you so much to everyone who has watched up until this point you guys are really awesome thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel i really appreciate you i will see you guys in the next crop video have a great weekend everyone bye